The video paper entitled Improving Cognitive Domain of Graduate Student on Corpus Linguistics Subject Through the Implementation of Blended Learning is presented at Parallelization of Linguistic Conference Kolita Atmajaya 18, which is held online. My name is Mirza Umiati. I came from Linguistic Department of Warmadewa University. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the background of the study. Corpus Linguistic Subject was encountered in second semester of Master Degree of Linguistic Program with previously face-to-face -face learning were applied as a teaching method, which such a method, teaching and learning process, tends to be one-way traffic and making students uninterested in class, discourage, bored, stop trying in accomplishing tasks given, and do poorly in tests. As a consequence, the student level of achievement was decreased, thus in this case, to solve this problem, it needs to find a new strategy to improve student level of achievement. Blended learning was selected to solve the problems since it is effectivity had been proven by several latest related study. Now in literature review, study by Baker 2018 indicate that learners find that blended learning approach can help them to take responsibility for their own learning by making them autonomous and confident. They were motivated to learn English and believe the blended learning method helped them develop their learning and communication skill. Al-Salhi et al. 2018 conducted a study about blended learning and found there were statistically significant differences between the experiment and the control groups in favor of experimental group and the experimental group's attitude were also more positive toward the using of blended learning. In the literature review, I described that several previous studies have indicated that blended learning is effective in improving student achievement such as the studies conducted by Baker 2018. He carried out the research about student attitude toward implementing blended learning in teaching English in higher education institution, a case of al Quds Open University. This study highlights student attitudes toward learning outcome in a general language course though in a blended learning environment in all Kutz Open University. The result of this study indicate that learners find that the blended learning approach can help them take responsibility for their own learning by making them autonomous and confident. They were motivated to learn English and believe the blended learning method helped them develop their learning and communication skills. Furthermore, Al Salhi et al. 2019 conducted a study about blended learning. This study aimed to investigate the effect of blended learning on nine grade student achievement in science and their attitudes toward using it. It compared the result of various ways of teaching science topics and the student attitude toward their use. The finding revealed that there were statistically significant differences between the experimental and the control group in a favor of the experimental group and the experimental group attitude were also more positive toward the using of blended learning. Their attitudes were in favor of students with academic performance in science subject of the performance level. The study recommend further research into the use of blended learning in higher education institution. 
building on the background and letters related study above. Those the present study aim to evaluate the implementation of blended learning to improve student achievement in corpus linguistic in the linguistic department and the student achievement was expected to improve. Research method. Research design was cross-sectional with the aim to evaluate the effectiveness of blended learning in improving student cognitive domain on corpus linguistic. The population was student of linguistic program who enrolled in 2018-2019 as a group one and the student who enrolled in 2019-2020 as a group two. No sampling was carried out, all population was selected as a sample. The variable studies were biodata, sex, age, occupation, method of learning, face-to-face -face and blended learning, and score of end semester examination. Face-to-face -face learning was encountered to group 1 student and blended learning to the student of group 2. The data were analyzed using the statistical program that available in SPSS. The similarity of group was analyzed using cross tabulation and man whitney u test. The different mean or average scores of the two groups were analyzed using an unpairing student t test or man whitney u test depend on the equality of variant. Ladies and gentlemen, the result of the study. First, profile of the student. The student of group 1 of were 19 or 54.3% while group 2 were 16 or 45.7%. By sex, 18 or 51.4% were male and 17 or 48.6% were female. Next, the average age was 29.06 with mode of 25.00 and median of 23 or derivation standard 8.775. The minimal age was 23 years while their maximum value was 53 years with the rank of 30 years. 29 of them or 82.9% were having job while the rest 6.17.1% were not having a job. Secondly, effectivity of blended learning. Effectivity of blended learning can be determined by comparing the score of final examination of student introduced with face-to-face -face learning and student introduced with blended learning. Before comparison analysis can be carried out, Similarity of sex and age of the two groups must be determined using cross tabulation and student t test or men with knee u test respectively. The comparison analysis revealed that the two groups were similar in sex as well as age distribution. Levinas test for equal variance proved that Variants of examination score of the two groups were not equal. So, the suitable analysis for comparison score was man whitney u test or the test of non-parametric. The result was as follow. First, man whitney u value was 26.500. Z value was 4.206, significant was 0 0.000, P less than 0 0.01. Secondly, it was concluded that the average score of assessment of student year 2019-2020 was highly significant higher compared to the average score of the student of year 2018-2019 indicate that blended learning methods were effective compared to offline learning method. Discussion In linguistic department, blended learning was applied to improve the student achievement, particularly in corpus linguistic. Blended learning is provided through a variety of ways 
online learning programs incorporating activities and information that are very similar to other form of distance learning. Online learning por portal that takes people through a variety of online and offline uh, provisions. Website that focus on a specific product and service offering highlighting features and benefit in the same way as a corporate brochure, a specific site that allow you to download article and tool, either free or on a free trial basis prior to purchase. In an experimental study conducted by Yin et al., it was found higher learning outcome for students using game-based learning compared to the student who didn't use it. Systematic review studies and made analysis conducted on students reveal that smartphone-based mobile learning has a positive impact on learning knowledge, skill, and also attitudes. According to the perception of graduate students, blended learning is a learning technology that is easily accessible through website, attractive displays with combination of colors, and interesting with a present of learning image and the video. And now we go to the conclusion. From the discussion and analysis above, it can be concluded that the average score achieved by the student with face-to-face -face learning was 84.4737, while the average score achieved by the student with blended learning was 90.0000. Both scores were highly significant different with P less than 0.01. It means that blended learning is more effective compared with face-to-face -face learning. That is why blended learning is strongly suggest to be implemented in graduate student of linguistic department. I think that's all my presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention.